So, you live in a settlement, rarely leave, take the safest route from place to place, trash. Who am I? Name's Jimmy Bob Jeremy Jones, and I'm what's known as a scavenger. What does that mean? Means I leech off of others' misfortune. I don't live in one location, I roam the wastelands. So what's that like? First, wake up, scan your surroundings, even more so if you had to clear out the area the night before. Next. Check in with other scavengers in the area, share what everyone managed to haul in, maybe make some trades, maybe just doggle the loot they scored. Then, spend the next several hours lounging around near an ongoing battle. Who do you think is fighting? Uh, that would be people versus robots. Let's hope the robots lose, right? Is that a corset? Don't get too close, Mike. When everything settles down, that's when we swoop in. Corsa uniform? Claimed. Motherfu- Once we finished our looting sprees, we headed to the closest shop to sell off the goods and be on our way to the next looting spree. Why? Because it is an addiction. When night comes, we find a place nearby to sleep, then rinse and repeat. That's usually the day-to-day -day cycle, not much change in routine, but lots of change in location and experiences. I can't believe what I just saw. Brotherhood pilots or something else, I tell you. It's not always battlefields we scavenge. Sometimes you just find a nice place with food, weapons, or gear. Whatever it is you're aiming to find. Sometimes we hit rough patches. That's usually due to some fights not being in our favor. Oh, they roasted all of them, Mike! There's nothing left! They really went lasers only. I'm a- I'm gonna need something to take the edge off. I will say that scavenging isn't always about looking through someone else's trash. Sometimes it's about seeing what nature has to offer. That was well placed. Well, I guess that's lunch. That's good. Hmm. That's good. Yeah, let me get a little bit more. Jimmy, what was that? What'd you just eat? Nothing crazy, just some spices. Jimmy, those are the wrong silk beans. Those are hallucinogenic. Wh what? We all make mistakes. Jim! Jim! Relax! You're acting crazy! I'm sorry. Mike! Mike! Mike, help! Red Scorpion! I can't move! The silk beans are kicking back in! I got stomach cramps and a headache! Everything's spinning! This ain't how I wanna die! Where'd he go? Where is he? One of my favorite scenarios is going through the aftermath of a fight involving this, uh, vault guy. No idea who he is, but he's not bad. Helps drive up the business. What is it? Caravan traders. That's rough. Oh, there he is. The vault guy. Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. Just... We should keep a distance. Nah, nah. He's cool. Oh. Yeah, I see what you mean. If there's one thing I know, it's that if I see that guy in the fight, I can guarantee there will be good shit left over. But I must confess, as easy going as I make it seem, there are always dangers to any job in a post-Fallout world. Oh! You are right? Yeah, yo, yo. Just, just dodged a mine, that's all. He's ragdolling me, Mike! Save me! Find anything good on him? Just some spare change. Hmm. It's too bad. Some of these scenes don't make much sense, you know, Mike? Like, what happened here? Is it staged? Eh. Anything could be a trick. Hey. Hey. Scavenging? Yeah. That's mine. Okay. Oh, this one's not bad. It's a bit heavy, but I think I can get some parts off it. Jam. Jam, get over what? here. What? Yeah, I need you uh, to come here. I need you to listen to me. Oh, uh, uh, okay. 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 Yeah, this place is room by the mob. What did you just say? This is a bedding rally. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm not supposed to be here. This all looks... Yeah. 
What about the other guy? Mm. Yeah. Don't care. I'm not trying to get capped. You're right. Let's bounce. <laughs>